Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing our first rank game! Let's see how it goes! Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out our first uh, or second rank game actually. That Inferno's game was not great. Inferno's needs a lot of aim. Because if you if you don't hit hit it hit your shots enough, you don't proc burn, and without procing burn, you do nothing. And I don't have the aim for that. So I'm gonna be realistic. I'm gonna play seven, use my big balls to zone, and you know, easier to hit. So that's what we're doing on our second game. I'm playing this back because I was, I was really focused. I didn't want to let my team team down again. It's rough. It's really rough. I knew rank was gonna be rough. Uh, I've been scared of the of every of like the skill gap because in here, for example, in this game, I get a lot of my souls stolen, and whoever has just the better aim just kind of wins. It's just kind of hard. It is what it is. In this matchup, Ivy is a pretty big counter, or not a big. Well, it is a big counter. Because every time I go for the stun, she just statues. And my stun doesn't exist. It is what it is. So even though it's our first rank game, people are already sweatier than my casual games. Maybe because they already took like my normal MMR into account. But yeah. Thank you. We're going to go over this game. Slowly play by play it. See what bu builds I go for. Oh, this is good for a kill and he gets it. I try to go for the stun, get a bit carry out, carry it away, and die for it. Like I said, I got big countered. It is what it is. We'll speed things up. Go through the laning phase. I buy sprint boots for the healing and monster for the healing as well. I didn't see this lane as a kill lane, so there was no reason to just like play for the laning phase. Laning phase doesn't really determine everything. You could lose tower like really early and still you could come back. It would make it so your team has to fight other people sometimes and they would control more of the jungle. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. And monster rounds really helps with jungle later on. We'll see how that goes. Viscous is doing really good. We have good comps. I'm not sure if the comps uh, show up in the expectator. We'll see. Got a good two here. Nothing too serious. Seven's early game isn't amazing. It's not, but hey can go pretty well sometimes it works we'll see Ooh. Ooh, wait I am spoiling some things here yeah sure let's just do that No kill potential yet. They are very aggressive. They have good poke. We kind of have good poke. I take battery here. More charges. I get three charges on my ball and Mystic Reach to make my balls bigger. Of course. And my stun. Let's see. Oops. Is there a kill here? I don't believe so. Goes for the stun. Doesn't get it. I could get through in through the jungle. On the left side. Yeah, it's really hard to, sec to secure souls. It's always good to, to find a way to secure your souls before you sec you're s set it in. But it is a, it's a big frustration. Like, I'm pretty sure eventually people are going to be so good that it's going to look like they're hacking. 
I already complained that. Ooh. So sadly, Biscuits dies there from Poke. Which is fine. I got a little bit of the souls back. We're not that far behind. Biscuits ahead. Mm, okay, we are behind. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. Seven minutes, Prox. Wait, it's not seven minutes yet. So why did all the jungle just show up? They didn't change it, right? They did. What? So jungle spawns earlier, apparently? That's weird. I thought it was uh, seven minutes. Ivy's missing. All right, something's off then. Well, I mean, it means that uh, early lane doesn't matter as much now. So there's that. Not too bad. Let me just out here getting some jungle. Which is very dangerous for someone like me that gets caught. Like I'm either doing jungle or being aggressive. And if I do jungle and then go to get go get aggressive, I might lose the souls. It is a very good possibility. You know, all the unsecure souls I have. It looks like you collect your souls at one soul per second. Your own secured ones, that is. Or five souls per second. Good to know. Maybe at seven minutes we they spawn the 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 lottery boxes, the slot machines. Let's take a look. Oh, I get stunned out of my ult there. Another problem with seven. Ooh, besides getting gigantically ulted here, I lose my souls, and she goes in with ult, and one shots me. Unfortunate. Slot machines don't proc. Ooh, a little too fast, a little too fast. We dive in hard here. She ults out. Not much we can do. Just go back to farming. Always do something. Kills are kills are worth like one wave. Like one extra wave. Which is not amazing, but once you lose once or once you die twice, you really have to be reservative and let your tower die. Otherwise you're just gonna get bullied and farmed. No, we don't want that. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I am going to try rank for a little bit. I want to see how long I, I last. I want to play to my strength. I'm not going to try anything funny. Funny builds like that. I feel like 7 build is currently my... My go-to. In fairness, I can see that is not it. Mm, another option is Lash. Lash will be my second pick. And AFK Hayes, perhaps? Kelvin is good too. Anything that helps me keep at a distance and my aim doesn't have to be amazing until I practice it up. We go for the gank here in Hayes. Wait, I'm gonna follow this one. I do a pretty good amount of damage, 30%. Abrams goes in hard and hits the... Is the melee. Good stuff. I didn't expect him to do it. I just wanted to he show up. Do some stuff. Now I go down here. Because nobody grabs these boxes. Grabbing boxes and statues is good. I don't know how good. It depends how... Oh. There goes Ivy for the stun. For the kill. Abrams goes in. Uses a dash. Can he do it? He cannot. He takes some damage and backs off. I sit here looking at them. Seeing if I can get a kill. But I cannot. My balls are not level five yet, so they don't do as they don't do half the damage they should be doing to kill. Oh, that's a little close. Okay. Hey, you're making history. Let's watch it like this. I shall temper your spirit. Things seems to be chill for now. We're just farming as much as we can, going through it. The lane's down. Grab all the boxes on the way. He fucks up, so... The buffs are up. Or sh they should have been. Someone already grabbed it, it seems. They go for the ult. Am I dead here? It's possible I'm dead here. He goes in hard. It's me. I try to parry. I get the... I get amazing heal there. Throw in a ball. Cover their option. And they die for it. Nice. Not too bad. Ivy's up. Yamato comes in out of nowhere. It just rotates for the kill. 
Unfortunate that one. More farming. Classic. Always doing something. I try to farm in peace, but this Yamato is hyper aggressive. He likes to get in there. Which Yamato you normally do. Just go in there, be a nuisance. Doesn't usually one shot unless you're ahead. Speaking of one shotting, one shotting isn't usually a thing unless you're fully ahead. The game is balanced like that. I came across a a Reddit post talking about how people complain about the meta about this being too strong. And the truth is, it's a skill gap. If you let him be ahead, they will be ahead. So we go for the stun, he goes for the execute, but Yamato ults the moment he sees the ult to nullify it. Tries to run away, my balls are too big over the corner, and he gets nicked. Not bad, not bad. So put in the balls, clear out. Almost has 3000. The good thing about the 7 build that I really like is that there's a lot of 3000 uh, options that you can buy. You don't really have to go for the 6000. The options are Escalating Exposure as your first and Mythic Revert. Which, Escalating, definitely good. But, you know, cooldown duration, extended battery, all those are insanely good as well. So you don't have to feel pressure to save. There's a lot happening here. I'm gonna change camps. Because it's a big fight. I just look to zone. Teammates going forward. Hitting the Infernus. Don't know if he has to use the dash yet. I stay in the back. Ivy's just hovering. Ult. Finds the stun. Doesn't do much after that. Infernus is extremely low. I throw a ball down the lane. Get good zoning on Infernus. Takes him out. Unfortunate. I think I throw another ball here just to cover the lane. No. So we're just going around. Here I go to my favorite camp and I see it. I'm like, I'm not using the ult. Like I said, the ult is very useless. People know how to line aside it and do damage to you. I see pocket. And without it level, it just doesn't do DPS. It's just not worth it. This girl stuns me, but he doesn't. Ha she doesn't have to follow up damage. Like in the mid game where no one's ahead, there's no kill potential, so usually you can just walk away. It's a poke battle until one can finish. Go for more farm. Oh, Lash is here. I try to save my friend, but it does not work. I don't have the damage to really show. Not yet. Seven's a scaling character. So I put no points into my ult because to me it's just useless. And those are rare scenarios where I, I can, when I have no cooldowns, no bullets, I can use it for that little bit of extra burst damage. But people usually also run away. So might as well, it's better to chase. A lot of damage from shift. Is that melee shift by the way? It is not. Wait, that's not the right thing. Here it is. DK. DK is amazing. Actives. I go back to buy battery. No. Am I really saving? I have three thousand. Wait. Camera. Oh, I chased the help. Whoops. Yeah, I chased the help. They killed our pocket? That's fine, we killed. Cover the lane. Get this guardian for the flex. We get the flex slot. We want to look for a little pressure here. Maybe a little bit too much pressure, just putting everything down and running. So I think I, I live here. Also, every every time you pause, a part of the, the model stays. It should fix itself soon. So I get the small ones here. I don't have enough damage to kill the big one, so I notice. I notice that and run. Grab the urns. Walk around. See the pressure. The team is pressuring other lanes. They go really hard on me for some reason here. I guess it's because she was ulting. 
Oh yeah. I see Shiv. There's a big fight going on right now. Wait, where am I? Oh yeah, everyone's going for the urn. So there's a big urn fight. Mm. Seems to be okay. Everyone grabbed it. We killed the, the holder. I throw my balls to zone them out of it so we can deposit. But it doesn't look like the Viscus wants to. He drops it. And I just leave some balls stunned the Infernus. I drop the urn. I cannot go for it. Huh. I'm trapped here. Don't know what to do. I can't grab the urn. No way. They're tanky. We're zoning man out of it, but I'm gonna run out of ball soon. So I don't have the. I do have the extra recharge, but no cooldown. She grabs it with her ult, by the way, which was pretty good. Some of us get dove. She goes for it while the team is busy. And overall, this was not the greatest fight ever. My balls weren't amazing. Yamato's stuck on the right here. He's forced to ult now. When I show up. Abraham just gets a kill. I just keep myself far. Yamato's not as scary. Unless you let him hit you with the charge one multiple times. Nobody's around. Everyone's in mid. They rotated it out as soon as they got the thing out and left Yamato. So we sit here, all three of us get this Infernus is coming but i don't think he can defend this he goes for a f all in gets stunned around the corner i can still see him and shiv goes for him as well so we get him you shouldn't have defended against three letting go of your towers is very important so yeah let's keep going Let's see what do I get here. I have 8,000. I have I go Escalina Exposure, but I'm still looking at all the cool improved cooldown, improved reach. I look at all those options. I'm like, maybe I should go for these. But Escalating does increase my damage by quite a little bit. There's uh, Yamato again going a bit too hard in. I put my two on him because I know that the timer would kill him with the thing when he runs away. But Abrams gets him anyway. We both sit here, all of us, and we finish this camp. Go f not go for this haste. I just clear. Not much happening. Our walker is under attack. No one seems to be around. I don't dare take the the thing. Cause now that people know where you are and people and they increase the value of it, people always fight and defend the, the urn. So to deliver it is is not that easy. I just see this guy go for the stun. Try to go all in for him, but I know he's gonna get out. It's freaking Lash. I can't chase him. But I didn't waste too much, too many, too many cooldowns. My ult is useless anyway. I hear Ivy. Try to look for her. Go back to help. Nothing. Throw that for clear. Clears a little bit. Another great thing about 7. You just throw your ult and it clears a wave. The problem with that is that people will steal your souls like this guy is. Look at this. Look at this piece up. I'm not sure if he pays for it here. But I do throw a ball down the mid lane. And he definitely forces him out. Oh, never mind. I missed it. Oh, there it is. He, get, he probably gets away. It looks like he's dashing out. He gets cat over here, so I'm like, okay, he's 1 HP, 2 HP. I go for it. I don't have any more balls in the first few seconds, so I just go for the ult. He, he was one shot before the explosion. I thought I had it, but again, the ult does no damage. Abrams is here. Can he do it? Can he? Oh, he gets parried twice in a row and gets... Okay, and Abrams gets destroyed. It's ranked. People do have their parry key binded, so that's a whole thing. Yeah, it happens. Once I reach my late game and I know I can do more from the back, that's what I do. Oh, 
Where am I? I go for this Infernus. I thought he was gonna go for it, but he went for the camps instead. He shows up again to steal all my farm. So he's stuck now. He doesn't have dash because he used it on the camp, so... He just gets caught here. Terribly. Can't, can't move. Dash comes back up, but it's not enough. That's what he gets for taking my souls. Not much to do from here. It is the mid game. You, It's not like... Well, you can. If you have a really good team and you're all coordinated, you can put a lot of pressure throughout the whole game. But in a ranked game like this, in the mid game, if you're not super ahead, the game has it's even for most of the game. It's a very stillmate, waiting for someone to get caught, waiting for people to make mistakes. You can't just go around. You just have to farm. You try to catch this girl. She's looking for the old. Doesn't get it. She doesn't die either. And I get ganked. And she doesn't die. Unfortunate. Just like that. I, I thought the, the guys was making a mistake. But in the end, it was me who, who made that mistake. The team is here. She gets a kill. Chef OP. Rest of the kills. Let's see, he's built. Escalinear exposure. Slowing bullets for Chase. Soul Shredder. All really good build. It's good damage. So, not much happening here. Let's go back to me. I finally buy Mystic Reach. So, my balls are the biggest. Actually, no. I need. I need Mystic Reverb to make it bigger. Put the ball in the middle. Should catch catches everybody walking through it. That's the beauty of it. I fight over this with him because I want him to, to defend better. But then I see all five people like coming at me and like trying to like like look at this. There's five people on top of me. So I'm like, nah, I'm out. I'm I'm out. And I leave it right there. Which sucks. I mean, yes, I kinda lost it for the team. But would Abrams have done something different? Maybe. Don't get the ball inside the thing, unfortunately. It does do a lot of damage. It ruins fairly low. But it is what it is at that point. Abrams going in. Gets a double charge. Explosion. He's tanking. He still have HP. It's insanely tanky. We get one. I stun Haze. Looking for the ult. Yeah, she, she was looking for it earlier. She could have unstoppable. I don't know why she didn't. Let's see if this Abrams gets it. Doesn't get the stun. Oh, she was unstoppable still. Gets parried. But still tanky as hell. What the heck? She has bullet. Okay, he has... Oops, sorry. He has bullet, so... He doesn't care. We go for mid here. Nobody's here to steal. This guy's is somewhere else entirely. So, we just blow this up. Not a big deal. What else do we got here? I go back. How much gold do I have? 34. So I have the three, the, the one, two, three max. You max the two second for the stun, the three for the damage. Pretty good. I go for the secret shop here. Probably gonna go improve cooldown. Let's see. Or extend it? Maybe I go for bullet here. I think I go for full bullet here. No? No, oh, that was something else. So I go for cool max cooldown here. Oh, sell it. And get... That's, that is cooldown, right? Yeah, I got cooldown. I don't know why he moved it from here to here. But we'll see. I get a catch He's with Wraith. Nice. Everyone's pushing. Yamato's, Yamato gets our walker because, I mean, we're, no one's going back for that. We already got a lot of pressure going on here. The team can't push through this because of the AoE. I'm not doing enough damage because of the minions. I help with the team. Use my balls as uh, zoning. And then we go back to the other walkers. Look at that AoE damage. Of course, escalating exposure. 
Throw my balls at them. Because we're zoning. Where am I? Where I go? Yeah, Matos in the back going for our girl. I'm in there. Oh, I went in there to get the shrine, right? Somehow I got to do that. I I, I was sure I was gonna get punished for it, but I didn't. I try to go to the stun for that. He hits the decay? That took a while. I throw my balls in the middle here. I mean, clearly I shouldn't have gone in there. Like I said, I should have been punished for getting the shrine, but now I get punished. I use my ult because there's nothing else to do, but it's too much. I got in the thick of it. Like that one song everyone's hating on. But we back off here. There's nothing else to get. We got we got the shrines. I think they're forcing too hard for it. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Seriously? Yamato's going in. This is Yamato, man. Does he have refresher by now? He does have refresher. And Mystic? Abrams has to ult out. They will eventually stop chasing. Nice dash, gets away. And they stop chasing. Death cool. That's it. Oh, I'm alive. So I just go around farming a little bit. Need a little bit more for my Mystic Reverb. Should be able to get it now. Go for the secret shop. Set of the buffs. I got Mystic Reverb. Now my balls are maximum size. There's a Yamato move a really far forward, as always. I throw the stun on him. I'm coming to see. And now he goes into this room, which I just my balls just cover the entire room. I throw my balls in there. He gets damaged. He's definitely out of the fight. Entirely. He gets ulted by Ivy, thinking we'd still be chasing, but we all retreat. The good times look at the size of those man that's so dumb i find this guy throwing the stun look at the size of the stuns man i basically almost catch him they decide to go in stun goes through there i kill i try to, i kill the haze here because you also have the range with the old throw the ball yamato's on me for some reason he doesn't have enough damage he almost does. I need to get out of line of sight so his two doesn't hit me. I get away just in time. He goes for the other way, but I come back Together. with the team. And he thought he, he can't find me. So now Ivy's left. She's stuck. She's stunned. And the whole team just gets in there and... Yep. That's game. That is game. People call GG here and... Yeah. Overall, pretty good game. If you're seven in the late game, you just run around, throw your balls. If you get, if you catch a good stun, you just press your three and shoot him down. The gameplay is very simple. Maybe once my aim gets better, I'll try Infernus. But it's that bullet speed, man. If it was hit scan, probably better. But you have to hit headshots for the bigger afterburn. We're stoning out. Inferno goes in. I throw a bunch of balls covering the whole map. I run out of balls here after my last one. So I decide to ult because why not? And that's it. How much to it? GG. That was second rank game. I say that's pretty good. I don't mind that too much. So we'll see how, how it, it goes. I'm going to keep playing for a while. I did top damage, top objective damage, and a lot of assist. Good times. It's just a good pick. Everything else is a bit scary to me. I could try uh, tank Abrams more. Let's see how he built. Berserker is tanky. This is good. Headhunter heals. Point blank, it's tankiness as well. Everything here is tankiness. Extra regen is interesting. And then improved spirit and armor. And Hunter Sara. And he did insanely good damage. So yeah, Tank Abrams. Uh, backline, backline. They didn't have a lot of frontline other than Yamato. 
This guy was kind of tanky. It's pretty tanky, actually. But besides that, I think it was just uh, these two diff. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next ranked game. In the next update. Have a good one.